Is SRAM's new Reverb Access Explorer seat post worth the $600 price tag? I don't think it's as easy as a yes or no question. While it is an expensive seat post, I do think it has a spot on my gravel bike, but I don't think it always has a spot on my gravel bike. I was able to ride this seat post for about a thousand miles now in the 50 millimeter drop version. I wish I had the 75 millimeter version and there are sections where I am faster with this seat post. So first thing, after a thousand miles, I have not had to rebuild this reverb at all. I know that's been historically an issue point with these. To give some context on my setup, I am running a one by. I do have the new Explorer derailleur on my bike as well. So this is my double button activation. So I press both the left and right levers and it activates the seat post. But I do have a friend who does run a two by setup and I was curious if we could add a reverb seat post to his bike without adding any button. What we did is we paired this into the rear derailleur using the rear derailleur as a master, as well as the front derailleur and the shifters. Turn on sequential shifting, which automatically shifts the front when the time is needed, and then paired the two button press to the reverb. And what that did is that allowed for the front derailleur to shift in sequential mode when it needed to, and you could dual press to activate the seat post. However, you can never control the front derailleur at that. So getting into my riding experience, I live in a spot where I can choose to either be riding in the rolling prairies, or I can go into the mountains and be in the chunk and the rocks and the technical descents. This seat post is best in the mountains if you're in the prairie mainly i don't know if it has a lot of added benefit so i think the seat post is mainly aimed at the adventure cyclist probably not the ted kings out there who are racing for the win at unbound but more of the people that are out just to go have fun and explore new terrain so the question is is the seat post for you to answer that i think you have to ask yourself some questions the first one do you ride somewhere where you feel like having confidence in your descending is going to help. If so, this might be an option. Another question asked is, do you think having a seat out of your way is going to provide you more fun? If so, the seat post might be for you. Now, is the weight of this being a pound extra than your carbon seat post going to play with you mentally and make you slower? The seat's probably not for you. Are you tired of standing on your tiptoes? When you get on the bike or at your stoplights, see it might be for you. Are you willing to spend $600 on a seat post? If you are, I think it's a valid option. My final verdict, if I had the money to buy a seat post like this, I would. I would love to have it in my arsenal of tools to use on my bike. So when I need it, I have it. I hope this helps. If you have any questions on anything you want perspective on, leave it down below and I'll get an answer for you. If I don't have it, I'll find it or I'll go test it. And with that, get out and go ride a bike.